You're listening to the Noisy Neighbors Podcast. All right, everybody. We back in the Noisy Neighbors Podcast. Joey McHugh and Mark Bovenny. I had to go throw a hat on in the break because I was screwing with my hair too much. I know the YouTube comments were going to crush me for it. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're getting hammered, mate. You're well, hammered. Like, I got out of the shower and I didn't have time to do anything to my hair and it's too long. So it's just like, oh, it'll probably be fine. It was not fine. It was just in my face the whole time. Yeah, you um, look fine now. Thanks. That's 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 a drip set that I would wear proudly. This is friend. another. I think this is another ginger wig yeah, special right here. Yeah, I mean, this is basically an ad for the ginger wig. This this uh, episode. I'm just ginger wig's little merch monkey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, dude. All right, send, so just send me stuff. I'll just wear it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Porto coming up this week, yeah. uh, or sorry, tomorrow. Jesus Christ, in the Champions League. Um, if City win, guaranteed uh, first place. Okay. In the, what about uh, a draw? Will that do it? I think that'll do it. Won't I it? think it will. Now this is where the, this is where like the moral issue comes into this. Mm. Not mo- not moral issue, kind of moral issue. So, do you risk playing your best players in this to get first place, or do you say, hey, let's rotate the side a little bit? Um, a loss here doesn't kill us in the group. If you look around the other Champions League groups at who is in second, which would be a team we could be drawn against. I mean, you're, we got Bayern Munich, we got Real Madrid. We got, so this is one of those wacky years where, um, you know, maybe you know top of the top of the top of the group isn't superb because you could be drawn against some real doozies. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I don't know. There's, I mean, yes. Yeah, so right now, second place, uh, we've got Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Ajax, Sevilla, Lazio, Juventus, and PSG. So uh, <laughs> first place, second place isn't going to matter. We're going to be playing no. somebody tough. Yeah, agreed. Um, agreed. So it, this is one of those ones where it might be worth a mm, little rotation. I think. Yeah, yeah. Pep's come out and said he's not going to play any EDS players, which. Um a bit disappointing um, because I think you could sneak one or two in here. But, of course um, you could. Of course yeah. you could. What about Porto? How are they doing? They are top of the league in Portugal, I believe. Let me verify that. Um, no, excuse me. They're in fourth right now. Uh, they are on 16 points. They're two points off of Benfica and Braga. Um, Sporting is running away with it. Uh, okay. Six six points clear of Porto. Um, Porto are coming off the back of a win against Santa Clara. Oh yeah, Santa Clara. You know, you know them. Um, who are in eighth? Which I believe Santa Clara is just. Nope, I don't know what. So, but they they just beat Santa Clara. Um, it was a one nil win. And they also beat Marseille in the last Champions League group stage match. So, okay, um, you know, decent form. Yeah, okay. Um, have we got any injuries that we need to know about? Any big ones? Yeah, so City are without Ake still, it seems like. Uh, oh, also I was asking about Porto, mate. Porto, yeah. So they're going to be without uh, Maracano and Bai, who is one of their goalkeepers, and then uh, the very evil PP. Um, oh, yeah. of Real Pepe. Madrid of Real Madrid fame. <laughs> I was gonna say of the C word fame, and then I decided that was probably don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's bring you some technology as we get to uh, talk about City's lineup, shall we? Uh, let's see if this. We holy cow! Okay, so are you, ki- um, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. This is uh, the lineup screen. <sighs> Let's let's talk injuries, mate. Ake, he is injured. Ake, not going to make it. Aguero still not practicing. All right, practicing. Love in it. training, right? <laughs> he's not. He's and not training are, or practicing. Are we just taking Eric Garcia out just for the hell of it? <laughs> I think for our own mental. It's going to be state. our bit that we do. <laughs> we just automatically drag Eric Garcia to the. Tell you what, I wish I wish I wish Pep was more of a bit thief. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anybody so, else? That's all I saw. Okay. Uh, now, unless something changes tomorrow, which who knows? But 
All right, right, who are you going do, with in do goal? We, do we go ahead and move the EDS guys down? Like, do yeah, we, go we ahead I suppose we could. So um, put Cole Palmer down there. Put Tommy uh, Doyle, Tommy Cole down Palmer. there. Um, Harwood Bellis. Harwood Bellis. Sorry, lad. Um. I think that's everybody, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think we've we've done it. I don't have a uh, a Liam Delap. Um, by the way, picture. Did you see that goal? Oh yeah. Oh. Wait, no. The chip. Yeah, I did. I also saw Cole Palmer's goal, which was very was disrespectful. <laughs> I I do like that those two are just rude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and who they did it to too? Oh. Loving it. All right, pick pick. Uh, who, what do you think he's going to do you want to do what you think Pep's going to do or do you want to think what it, what would you do? Hmm. Well, if it was what I would if it's what I would do, mm-hmm. most of those players are down next to the X right now. So oh, we can't do that. So we'll do what <laughs> Pep, I think Pep's going to do. Okay, uh, cool. So we'll do Ederson. All right. Pretty straightforward there. Cancelo. Cancelo on the right? Mhm. Okay. Give me Hmm. Zinni on the left. Z- Zinni on the left. Yeah. Welcome, Zinni. Welcome back, mate. Oh, he shows up this time. Does the yeah. left? Does the left side you, of the pitch work? You picked work? him on purpose to try to <laughs> shoot my wheels off, didn't you? <laughs> I would never. I could never Hockey. do that to you. <laughs> um. Uh. Da, 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 da. I get Diaz and Laporte. I guess. Diaz and Laporte. All right. Diaz. See, this is right. where. <laughs> Laporte on the left. This is where uh, I think Garcia is actually probably going to be. <laughs> yeah, he probably will. As annoying as it is. <laughs> um, defensive midfield. Hmm. Rodri. Give me... Rodrigo. Yeah. And uh, Fernandinho. Because- oh. I love that. You want them sort of next to each other? There we or what? go. Yeah, give me that. Yeah? There All we right, go. Now cool. we're talking. I love that. Okay. Give me. I'll push these up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Fernandinho's going to be the one making the forward runs out of there. <laughs> um, so I think what I think what happens behind that is where everything kind of gets messy. Um, if only it really did. Ha <laughs> Give me. <laughs> give me Gabby all the way at the top. Okay. Because I'm working through this midfield here. Okay. Because Pep's done me by saying he's not going to do any EDS players. Mm. Uh, mm. Sterling on the left. Because I think okay, Sterling Sterling's probably back gets in the side. In this, love it. I think he gets in this match and in the Fulham match. That would make sense okay. to me. Mares has to start because he just got a hat trick, so put him on the right. And here's where me and Pep would would diverge. He's going to play Kevin Mm -hmm. in that 10 role. What I want in that 10 role is the guy that has a 4-7 on his back. (laughs) So go ahead and and put Kevin in there. But I think that should be Phil. Okay. I I think that should be Phil. I think Rodri should be Tommy Doyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd mix it up more, wouldn't you? I would, I think I because, would too. Because, because this match, look, we are fine in the Champions League. Yep. That's not a question. The Premier League is the issue now. At least if we're looking very short term. We've got Fulham. We've got, I think, another Champions League match midweek next week. And then it's the Derby. So I'm looking at, okay, well, we need to dominate Fulham. I'd rather rotate here and risk dropping some points, but still remaining as a team that's going through um, than, I don't know, I guess having tired first team guys going into the Fulham match, but I don't know. Fulham's pretty poor. So yeah, true. Okay. Well, there hmm. you go. That's I a that's really, really it. strong lineup, uh, especially in the midfield. We got yeah. the double pivot of uh, Rodri and Fernandinho. Uh, up front, Sterling, Jesus, and Mares with Kevin just in behind. Back four, it's a Laporte and Diaz partnership in the middle with Cancelo mm-hmm. on the right, Zinchenko on the left, and Edison in goal, uh, which leaves you with a pretty strong bench. Um, 
Yeah. Scott you, Carson you, for one. Yeah, because uh. you can name you. I mean, you can if he said he's not going to play EDS players, you can name everyone everyone that's left on the graphic, and we have room. Yeah. Because there's yeah. five subs in the Champions League. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that would be Stefan, Carson, Walker, Mendy, Stones, Gundawan, Bernardo, Foden, and Ferran Torres. Mm-hmm. That's an all right bench. Well, there you go. That's it, dude. That is it. That is your uh, predicted lineup. Mm-hmm. Mostly from McCune, but yes. uh, he's trying to predict Pep here. He's not. He would do something completely different. I'm sure there'd be, there'd be three at the back, and there'd be some sort of. Scott Carson in goal or something like hey, that. <laughs> I will say this. The better John Stones starts looking, mm. the more realistic a certain setup starts looking. That's true. And we saw a peak of it against Burnley where John Stones stepped into midfield for about three minutes. Mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. <laughs> to make you feel funny. Here's the deal. You got a back three of, of Diaz, Stones, and Laporte, yeah? We mm. got the ball. Stone steps out of there and plays next to Rodri in midfield. Kevin gets to push up. I don't know. Walker and Cancelo or Mendy and Zinchenko or whoever on either side gets to run forward. The wingers can do whatever they want. I don't, I don't know, dude. I'm just talking. I don't know. I just think. We're winning the Champions League is what you're saying. Guardiola is a title-winning production from the <laughs> north. <laughs> Cool. What, what sort of score prediction do you reckon for this one, mate? Uh, I think this will be a tight one, probably. Yeah, I was thinking um, the same. Prob- I could see it being a draw, especially if we, if we do rotate. I could see this being um, like 1-0 or 2-1 Porto, or I could see it going 1-1. Um, just kind of a... Because both of these teams are safe, I'm pretty sure. Like I don't, yeah. I don't anticipate Porto falling out of the top two. Um, and not moving on. So yeah. um, this feels like it could be kind of a bleh match. Yeah, I get the same vibe. Same yeah. vibe. Um, okay, well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, what are we plugging? So we got noisypod.com. You can find yeah. us on Twitter at noisypod. Um, after the match tomorrow, maybe you'll see us. We'll do something, mate. Yeah, we'll do something. maybe you'll see us. Just follow. make sure you pay, keep your uh, keep your eyes peeled to the Twitter machine. Um we have a are we allowed to say what we're doing in the morning oh yeah we might be appearing on uh, another podcast yeah so to, again keep your eyes peeled to the twitter machine we will be about mm-hmm. um yeah i think that's it um go to the, go to our website to find links to the uh the shop christmas yep. is coming up if you've got somebody in your life that you know, would want to put our dumb stuff on their bodies uh, in t-shirt form or drink out of a mug or something go do mugs that. are great it supports the show like uh, literally anything any money that comes into this it just goes to like us being able to do more stuff so if you can cool uh yeah and until next time everybody i guess that's it so uh yeah. try. Try.